Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As promised, this is the part 2 of my Chanel Beauty launch unboxing video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so and let's get right into it. Um, you can see here a lovely tweed Chanel ribbon and a uh, paper shopping bag. I got this uh, purchase from a private um, holiday uh, launch event at my local uh, Chanel Beauty Boutique and yes I went a little bit crazy blame it on the champagne that they were uh, serving and the canapes I had a really fun time um, and thank you to my sales associate who invited me um, now I chosen the um, Chanel perfume bottle charm this time because with my previous uh, video if you haven't watched it I'll link it on the screen please take a look I um, did the online order for the snowflake charm now the difference is the Chanel palette the little charm that comes with the bigger charm um, is circular in shape with the Chanel bottle whereas the snowflake one is a, a square um, she's nicely packaged up the paper into the paper origami uh, packaging you would have noticed the tweed ribbon um, doesn't have the Chanel on the packaging but there is the Chanel um, sort of branding on the overall paper bag so they must have two different um, ribbons um, and yeah now I think this tweed ribbon is stuck into the origami box so um, yeah lovely cute charm um, I will be hanging these on my Christmas tree when I take out my Christmas tree for decoration um, and yeah now that brings me to the point that if I was to hang it on the Christmas tree with the ribbon I will need to cut the ribbon off the origami box which I might not do so I'll, I'll look into recycling some of my older Chanel ribbons that um, are used to tie up the paper bags um, now this is what I purchased from the launch I'll bring everything out first before I unbox them um, so that we can have an overview of what I've purchased now I bought a big palette um, and I also purchased um, an item that is not in the holiday uh, launch but that I've been actually eyeing to try um, so I took advantage of going to the store um, a bit tipsy from the champagne uh, so that I would think less about whether I should spend the money or not anyway I uh, totally not recommended um, to do that uh, but you know I did have a fun experience so in the event um, they do actually give gifts to all the guests um, and it is a treat pouch um, it's circular in shape which is different to the rectangular treat pouches that you can get from the online orders for certain makeup sets um, now it's um, just fabric lined I like the tweed um, fabric uh, it's quite soft um, yeah and it's got the Chanel Beauty um, embossed on it I think it's actually uh, yeah it's I don't know what kind of material it feels ma a bit metallic but I don't think it is it's kind of maybe plastic with metallic um, coating on it um, yeah look like like the look of it overall but um, I have to say it's the the craftsmanship is not that great um, and which you can see here see the thread is actually coming out now you've seen me unboxing this brand new I haven't touched it I haven't even looked at it and the threads are already coming off I think it's actually because it's circular in shape this is where they kind of do the final sewing and they just didn't manage to tuck them back in 
to the underside of the fabric. Um, yeah, because on the other side, you can see here a bit, a bit of a botch job, to be honest. Um, yeah, I guess it is a freebie. Um, that's the only, I guess, saving grace. Um, rather than the online makeup kit pouch, which are rectangular in shape, you do need to actually pay an extra 11 Australian dollars for those makeup sets. Um, that is above what you you know what you otherwise would pay for the products inside for the pouch. Um, so after having a look at this, look, I wouldn't be buying the makeup kits myself. Yeah, make your own judgment as to whether you want to risk um, you know getting the makeup sets for the rectangular treat pouch, which you know may have threads coming off. I don't know, but maybe rectangular shape is a lot easier technically. Um, now, I also bought this large makeup palette. It says it's eye and face makeup, um, but really, to be honest, I think it's more for the eyes. I did do a trial. Um, my essay did um, apply them on me, and I love, love the purple. Um, that's why I am getting it, because it's been quite difficult for me to find a good purple shape that doesn't make my eyes look like it's been punched. It's got the right tone of the purple for my cool, um, uh, for my true winter undertone. So that's why I'm going for it. Um, but you know, I will play around with it. I think I can be quite creative on that using that eye palette. Now, this is the most exciting. Um, thing that I was looking to look at, you know, when I attended the event, apart from the potential of the canapes and the champagne, I love free food. So, you know, just for that, I would go to an event. Um, but yeah, look, the this is the Twist and Spray um, uh, Number Five perfume. You get a little tree pouch again. Look, the the workmanship of the the craftsmanship of the tree pouch is really quite poor. So yeah, it's a twist and spray perfume. So you twist it, it comes up, you know, with the spray that part that you can press. The cage has a magnetic bottom so that it secures the spray in, so it doesn't just fall off. And it comes with this little chain here that you can use to hang on your bag as a bag charm or you can actually sort of use it as a wristlet which i wouldn't do it's got a chanel uh, it's got a number five charm i mean yeah like who who would go around walking around with you know with a perfume spray around your wrist but it looks good as a bag charm and in store the cells actually hang on the belt loop of their um of some of their pants which i think is quite cool look i would wear it like that um and it comes with two separate sort of refills in the box that are seven milliliters each um yeah, look, there is a white version of the um, of the spray bottle, and I have to say, I initially thought I would get the white one, um, but then when I actually went into store and look at it, um, the white one looks, I, I don't know, it just doesn't look as up style because the um, the white one is actually matte. And I'm just worried that it's going to get dirty quite easily. And it's a bit hard to style on a bag for the white one because it's matte. It doesn't have that shine to it. And yeah, I think it, it will go much better with a more of a casual look. But then again, with a casual look, a charm of this size is a bit too much. Um, yeah, so it, it just it just seems to contradict the you know the look of it, the intent of it with a matte white pleather looking feel to it. Um, so that's why I chosen the the black with the gold because I just think overall that color combination and that material matches the intent of this 
accessory um, which is extravagant as it is so it just all matches um, all together now it is a shame that the uh, you know the refuse can't be purchased on its own at the moment so I don't know like you know it's a fun splurge I hope they would kind of make refills that would that you can purchase separately in the future to put into this spray otherwise it's a bit of a waste once you finish the the you know the the perfume inside I would hope that I can continue to use the um the Ashley spray as it is rather than just a decorative piece now I think as a decorative piece it's just too heavy you know as a as a decoration um don't know i might change my mind um later on because it does look quite cool when you loop it around your pants um so yeah i think or maybe it's only cool when you can sort of you know take it out and spray it and do a spritz i don't know but yeah look now this other item as i've mentioned before is not a holiday launch item um but it's the le beige um parfum um in this exquisite um packaging um special packaging um very sturdy cardboard box and those um and inside is fitted uh with a 15 milliliters um, parfum bottle the um, the bottle is so pretty it's got the special wax seal which I won't break at the moment because I'm thinking I might do a other another special unboxing video just to break the seal it, it's it requires a ceremony I feel because once it's broken I can't reseal it right um, and the bot um the packaging um again is very special um it's very sturdy and those white panels um is actually it looks like it's an additional piece of cardboard stuck onto the cardboard um so it's not printed um as a whole um i think yeah it's just glued down um and yeah so you can actually feel the indentation of the black cardboard underneath i think that's how they do it but you know they've lined it very nicely and the chanel logo on top is also um embossed on it i don't know whether that's the right word or laser printed on it um yeah so that's the patch code so that's um all that i have purchased I could have actually purchased more items but um, I will go through now what I didn't purchase and the reason why so here um, I didn't get any of the lip color because I actually didn't try them on um, not because they don't look nice because all the sales associates were actually wearing um, showcasing the makeup so a lot of them actually had the uh, rouge uh, well yeah these these um, lipsticks on and um, I think they they did probably all had this um, look the crystal pink and it looked amazing on them every one of them to be honest and that is why I didn't try it because I know it would look great um, but I just have enough um, enough lipsticks and things at the moment that I've purchased um, over the past few months that I still am yet to open um, and I'm not the type that opens everything and can, can just you know apply makeup um, you, you know different styles um, every day um, I'm a very much I get overwhelmed when there are too many choices so I generally only would have um, two or three max different um, lipstick shades and and 
I, and and that's only because you know of um, convenience. Um, so you know, I would have a lipstick shade um, in my bathroom for when I get up um, and prepare myself in the morning, and then I have one in my work bag so that I can reapply at work, and I'll have one in my going out bag so that I can reapply when I'm outside. Um, so that's the only reason why I would have free lipsticks at any one time open just just for that convenience and um and because i am now choosing all the makeup that would match my um true winter skin undertone i'm not so concerned about it clashes with my eye makeup and my blush and all of that because they're all from they all uh, can complement each other because they all uh, complement my true un winter undertone. Um, so um, I don't need to worry about a particular shade clashing with my eye makeup or my blush because they're, they're all from the same similar sort of range of shades that will complement each other anyway. Um, so that's one good reason of you know and uh, going through with the uh, color analysis for yourself it's, it's really worth the investment um in my opinion um now yeah so that goes with you know yeah all the lipsticks you know i just didn't try because i'm, I'm not on the lookout for a new lipstick and i don't want to tempt myself um in store actually they don't have um these pouches um available so unfortunately i can't really see them in person and tell you whether they are of good quality or not um, but you know if the freebie i got the circular round pouch is anything to go by mm, you know they might not be the best quality um but watch, watch other um, uh, channels online that have made these purchases and maybe they will be able to show you a better, um, you know, review of, of the quality of, of these. But, you know, I've got my freebie circular already. I've scratched that each. I, you know, I don't need to buy another one. So that's why I'm not going to buy these sets. Um, now this liquid eyeshadow the milky way i was very interested and i got it um and i got this tried on for me um in the event and i was very very tempted to buy it because i loved the look of it when it was applied initially um but you know after chit chatting for a while and looking at other things and things like that and just re-looking really at it because um it was applied with the eye palette at the same time the big um uh the big eye palette that this one that i ended up purchasing the enchanted night um it was applied alongside with that and it looked amazing but after a while i can't just see this color anymore on my eyelid again it's probably just because of my asian eyelid i have you know um, monolid sometimes hooded eyelid depending on you know how my face condition is on that day and very thick um eyelid so in general um eyeliners and things like that just get hidden and often they get smudged very quickly because my eyelids produce a lot of oil as well so i think this just slipped off and uh, gone into the ethers so i could not see it anymore and so i thought the technique of this app you know that is required to apply this liquid eyeshadow just just is not worth for me to purchase um but it would it may work for other you know other girls or, or boys out there who's you know who who has a different eye shape and a different texture i guess you know skin condition of their eye that would make this day because the color is beautiful um absolutely absolutely fell in love with it but because it didn't stay on my eyelids i thought well there's no point um you know to buy something that you know doesn't stay on um and liquid eyeliner you know i, I have enough eyeliners at the moment and i don't have great makeup skills so i'm always a bit 
scared of using liquid eyeliner so i didn't try those um this one i purchased no need to talk about it i just loved how it looked on me when it was applied and the shade of the purple just really grabbed me because it's so difficult to find a purple shade that works well for my eyes um so yeah and um the illuminating powder uh it was shown to me um and it was applied a little uh for me but uh, you know i I'm, I don't use a whole lot of um, highlighter and I already have them at home. Um, I'm you know, currently using the Dior, um, I think it's called Starlight Filler, that white liquid highlighter um, or illuminator um, piece that I purchased recently. So I'm still using that and I feel a little goes a long way for, for that tube. So it's going to take me a while before I finish using that up. And at the end of the day, $149 for a highlighter. Mm, yeah. So I just, you know, it looks beautiful, but you know, I don't, I don't need this. Um, I forgot to try the nail color there like to apply properly but just as i was about to leave i remembered so i swiped you know um the the nail color um both the charmer shade and the storyteller on my nails um before i walked off um so you know that's why i didn't purchase them because i've already paid up in in everything and i don't want to you know redo the whole whole uh, wrapping process and payment again um they're they're busy enough and i also have somewhere else to go so um look the color is nice um but yeah i'm you know it, it is it is pretty this one but i've i'm more attracted to the storyteller um but then at the same time i think the storyteller is just too deep a color for for me that i'm just sitting on it at the moment still not quite ready to venture out but i might still get it um next time if it's still available i think the nail polishes tend to tend to be not sold out that quickly at least in australia so i've got time to con to contemplate on it um and also because i've purchased the bala uh, rena i want to have a go at using it first to see how how well it stays on the nail before i make another nail polish uh purchase i mean they have a lot of amazing colors that it as it is um limited edition you know uh it probably it doesn't really matter that much like it's a nice color but i don't think it's like you know very very special that i need to rush out and get it um plus with the um online order delivery like you and i always like to um get complimentary delivery um you need to have a purchase of hundred dollars and above and this is only 48 not, not only i mean 48 dollars for a nail polish is ridiculously expensive um but because i don't use it often it lasts me a long time so i can justify for it um you know to have a, a special you know lovely looking chanel bottle uh of nail polish um but yeah so you know i've got nothing else that i need to purchase from the online um chanel at the moment so it's probably something i would just you know maybe wish list it so you know i can think about it next time when i so happen to purchase other things um online and need a bit of extra to make up for that you know complimentary express delivery um yeah it's just um so you can see here yeah it look exactly like this you know when you put it on um i may be a bit too much when it's you know even for me when it's holiday if i'm not going to a party or something like that probably not you know something i would gravitate to all the time so that's why i didn't uh, make that purchase 
Uh, I think that's all um, that I kind of need to talk about. I think that what I ended up purchasing, what I am not purchasing, and the reasons why. I hope this is helpful uh, for for you to consider before making these purchases. I always find it helpful to have a listen to other people's opinion. They might not be necessarily relevant um, to yourself or myself um, when you listen to others' opinion, but it just you know helps for you to consider you know different perspectives and might trigger you know some. Uh, some things that you haven't thought about that you should be aware of before purchasing um, because this channel is all about consuming luxury in a more mindful way um, so I hope this is of help to you um, until I see you next time you all take care bye